people to ayahuasca again and again to brace themselves for this experience. And you do have to brace yourself. Is this extraordinary effect at the level of consciousness. And one of those effects has to do with creativity. And we can see the creative cosmogenic impulse of ayahuasca in the paintings of ayahuasca shamans. As these paintings show another universal experience of ayahuasca, the encounter with seemingly intelligent entities which communicate with us telepathically. I'm making no claim one way or another as to the reality status of these entities we encounter. Simply that phenomenologically, in the ayahuasca experience, they are encountered by people all over the world. And most frequently of all, the spirit of ayahuasca herself. Mother Ayahuasca, who is a healer. Mother Ayahuasca, who is a healer. And although she's kind of the mother goddess of the planet, she seems to take a direct personal interest in us as individuals to heal our ills, to want us to be the best that we can possibly be, to correct errors and mistakes in our behavior that may be leading us down the wrong path. And this is perhaps why ayahuasca has been fantastically successful in getting people off harmful addictions to hard drugs such as heroin and cocaine. The Jacques Mabit at the Takiwasi Clinic in Peru brings heroin and cocaine addicts out there for a month, gives them 12 ayahuasca sessions. They have encounters with Mother Ayahuasca during those sessions that lead them not to wish to take heroin or cocaine anymore. More than half leave completely free of their addiction, never return to it and don't even have withdrawal symptoms. The same incredible healing work was being done in Canada by Dr. Gabor Mate until the Canadian government intervened and stopped his healing practice on the grounds that ayahuasca itself was an illegal drug. Mother Ayahuasca, who is a healer.